don't know why, because honestly that particular short, it, we had filmed, I think, maybe one or two shorts right before that, and we were just gonna turn off the camera and turn off the camera, this is not a camera, it's, we're filming on our iPhone, we were gonna turn off the phone and just call it a day, and then we were like, no wait, well I was like, ah, I kinda want, um, like, another one. So we just randomly did it, and then that happened. So if you all have more ideas for some new shorts, let us know. I think I saw a comment where it was like, this might be the only real couple on YouTube, or actually not even sure if they are real. Disclaimer, we are real. <laughs> Not only are we real people, but we're a real couple. Oops. Drew really loves it. And we're back. Apologies, there are people outside in our hallway talking. There's always somebody outside in our hallway talking. I don't know why they don't just go into their apartment to talk. They just prefer talking in the hallway. And our doors are pretty thin. So you can hear it. As I was saying, Drew really loves it when I do the, the double shoulder rub. However, for me, it takes a lot of effort. <laughs> Physical effort, that is. Anyways, this video actually about all the questions that we received after we announced that we had made 100k to properly reintroduce ourselves to our channel. So I will pull up my phone and read out some of them to you and respond to them while I continue massaging Drew and lulling him to sleep. First question is from Mishu Green. Have either of you ever been recognized in public from your channel? No, we have never been recognized in public from our YouTube channel. That we know of, that is. I don't know, like, I, on one hand, I feel like the ASMR community is big enough in 2022 and widely known enough that that's possible. But we're, I don't know, we, we're, we're still quite small and perhaps the community is not as big as it feels when we're online. I'm kind of grateful though because on one hand it would be so cool to meet people who watch our YouTube channels. On the other hand, I don't know, I feel a little bit awkward. Like, you know, you guys just watch me massage Drew, and then, and then you're saying hi to me on this tree. And then I'm just like, oh my god, you you saw me massage Drew. <laughs> but I, I do think it'd be really, really cool to meet some of our, our viewers and subscribers. If so if you ever do see both of us or either of us on the streets, please do come up and tell us that we don't need to feel awkward.
from JD McGill. Hi JD. Who does most of the cooking and what are your favorite meals together? I would say that the cooking is done pretty evenly. Especially now that we've started meal prepping every Sunday. Uh, it's it's definitely even. I think we split up the task pretty pretty well. I truly, truly hate peeling and cutting vegetables. I don't think her minds it as much. And in terms of the actual making, like putting everything together, I like doing, so I never mind doing that part. We've been making a lot of um, honey garlic chicken with rice and some veggies on the side as something healthy to eat through the week. We just find that it's hard to eat healthy and to cook our own meals. If it's not meal prepped, it's so tempting to get takeout otherwise. This week we also attempted to make uh, a curry for meal prep. That one didn't turn out as well though because we bought store jar, uh, sorry, store bought jar curry and it just didn't really have much flavor. That being said, we'll eat the rest of it though. Won't waste it. <laughs> If you have any meal prep ideas, please let us know. Uh, I will say though, I am truly horrendous at baking. So if we're talking about baking, I'm sure Drew is better at me at baking. I can't seem to follow a recipe for my life, which most of the time for cooking, that's fine. Baking, not so much. And regarding our favorite meals to eat together, Love, love, love Thai food. Love uh, Japanese food. What else we love? Also love Indian food. Um, we both really enjoy eating at my parents' house. Probably because it's my parents paying and making the, the food. <laughs> but also because it's delicious. And that's a lot of Chinese food usually. But also we do really enjoy the, the good, medium rare steak. Drew is definitely a, a much more of a steak connoisseur than I am. I just like it. If it tastes good, it tastes good, but he, he knows his cuts and whatever. So I'll, I'll leave him to discuss that in a steak ASMR massage video. <laughs> I personally love Korean food. Drew doesn't like it that much, so that's not something we really eat together. And um, maybe he'll get mad at me for saying this, but when I eat out or I'm somewhere else and he's left his own devices to like take out, I know what it is a hundred percent that I'll order every single time without fail. McDonald's. There's no shame in that. I love McDonald's too. But I know his exact order. I know what Drew is going to get every single time at McDonald's. A Big Mac. Um, some pancakes like the Flapjacks. And a sundae with chocolate sauce. Drew sauce on top. And maybe a Diet Coke. Or a Coke. Depending on how sure he is, he's feeling that day. My personal McDonald's um, order is usually always the breakfast on the breakfast menu. I really like their breakfast sandwiches, the chicken, egg, no, what am I saying? <laughs> Sausage, egg, McMuffin. The hash browns are unbeatable. But I also love, love, love their fries. years as 
it's not the two of us, I don't know if it's gonna be as, as great. So, although I do want to, I'm not sure if, if this channel is the right place to do that. That being said, I don't think I could upkeep another channel, and I don't think Drew really has the intention to do that either. We thought about the whole reaction channel thing. Oh. It's just too much extra. Right, that's another type of content that Drew really likes to uh, react to channels, uh, specifically to, I think, movies and TV shows for him. I watched some reaction. this couple that what do they react to like avatar no yes yeah just one of them yeah just like tv shows yeah um the ones that i watch are either reacting to or like reacting to um <laughs> the bachelor bachelor i don't even really watch that show i just watch the reactions or the recaps or the analysis if you know Dave Neal on YouTube or Bachelor Fan Take, love those channels. I don't know why I'm more invested in those recap and reaction videos than the actual show. I'm not even watching the show. The other type of reaction videos that I watch are like dancer reacts to K-pop dancers or um, professional voice coach reacts to K-pop singers, la la la. I want a K-pop blitz right now. But yeah, Drew really wanted to do a reaction channel and I was down to do it too. But, you know, that, that takes more time as well and we both have, like, full-time jobs that can be quite rigorous as well, so not, not much time for that, but hopefully one of those. If you're interested in seeing that, please let us know. And please let us know what you'd like us to react to, like which TV show or movie or a K-pop music video. Oh, we might get other microphones too, right? For like your wrist. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that's pretty much all the questions we have. Uh, Shadow Monarch, hello Shadow says, even with so many subscribers, why are you guys getting so less views? I don't know, man. I smell something fishy. Yeah, I don't know. You let us know, buddy. I think, <laughs> I think at the start, I kind of addressed this, like, we made our YouTube short and kind of blew up from there. But if you smell something fishy, you know, do do some investigation. We, we respect that. You know, I really respect suspicious people. I'm quite suspicious myself. So, <laughs> I think that's it for the questions. If you have any more questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section. We will do our best to respond.